Hey guys, it's just about six o'clock and we are here live to uh, announce the winners of the two, uh, the two, uh, part, um, the two uh, virtual chocolate tastings for uh, this past weekend. So I want to so say hi to everybody coming in. We'll give somebody, give everybody a couple of minutes to just, uh, you know, get on. I know there's a couple who, um, who wanted to join. Um, so, uh, yeah. Hi, Trish. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, so as people keep coming in, we'll just wait a couple minutes. Um, I get to share, you know, while we're waiting for people to flow in, um, I could tell you, I could share a little bit about, um, you know, what are what were my favorite moments of the festival, um, and basically, I think the the fact that we had, uh, you know, to to pivot and to do it virtually. Uh, that was, you know, in and of itself amazing. And the fact that everybody who joined, uh, you know, and were, you know, they took the leap to even come on to the, uh, uh, you know, the, the live sessions I did all weekend, you know, it was just really great. Um, and I'm so excited that everybody had some great experience. Welcome everybody who's coming in. Yes, yes, Trish, I am telling you the highlights. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I think the, I think, uh, let's see, what else can I point out? Uh, I think the, 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 the questions, uh, during the sessions, the questions through the app, uh, I think, you know, were really great. The, the comments, the sharing, uh, you know, just the engagement overall was impressive. Um, and the amount of people who are looking to you know, get their feet wet with their chocolate journey was really, really amazing. Um, you know, I, I, for myself, you know, I tasted those two samples about at least 12 to 14 times. Uh, and I enjoyed every single time because of the people who I was tasting with. And that was what made it all um, really happy. Um, and what that's what makes, um, makes it all worthwhile. Uh, which of the two samples was the overall winner? Trish, 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 Trish. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do the statistics. <laughs> um, I will, I will share that in the email that will go out to the to those who uh, uh, afterwards. Um, I had work today. I had a day. I have a day job, so I literally just finished work a little bit ago, and I'm like, I have to get ready, and I completely <laughs> forgot. Um, but then, no worries. I think it, it, for all I know, it could have been like pretty much dead even. Um, yeah. Yep. Sorry. All right. Uh, so we'll wait a couple more, like two more, one or two more minutes. Um, if people may still need to get in, uh, I know a couple, of, a couple of you are on. Welcome. So uh, put in the comments if you were there, if you were a part of everything over the weekend. Uh, you know, what was your favorite part of the uh, festival? Just leave it in the comments uh, and I'll see it. Sure, th thanks Trish. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you by midnight. <laughs> Notice I'm rocking the, uh, the Dallas t-shirt from last year. Um, it's pretty, I'm, I'm Sander, if you ever watch this, I hope that uh, we get some some DCF uh, 2021 t-shirts, 2020 t-shirts at some point, retroactively. <laughs> so it would have been cool to get. Um, all right, so um, I will just uh, describe what's going on here um, as more people come in. Um, so, Leading up to yesterday, uh, Saturday at midnight, uh, everybody was uh, entering in the giveaway. And everybody who, and so that was like one group. And what, there'll be one winner from those, that group. And there were, uh, there were 57 people who entered. 
So your chances are a little bit smaller. Um, but then there's the second group, uh, which was just Sunday up until today, which I don't think anybody joined today, but still um, there was about 16 people who joined on Sunday. So the, there'll be a winner from the, those that group. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go move screw up. I love the, hearing the comments. It was fun to taste chocolates throughout the weekend and the cocktail session was fun. All right, so there was a cocktail session I wasn't invited to? Damn. All right. Um, that, that, that was from Trish. Uh, another one um, from Wolf Den Mother. I love learning about the intense chocolate making, how intense chocolate making is, and I really appreciate the craft. There you go. Our job is done. Drop the mic. Let's go. Um, Diandrea says the box was awesome. I, I know, I'm, I'm jealous. I didn't get a box. So I honestly, I don't know what was in it uh, outside of like the picture and the video of Sander putting stuff in it. Um, I really wish I had that. The next year, if it's, if it's virtual again next year, which I hope not, um, I'm gonna buy a box like in the beginning, no matter what. Um, uh, let's see. Wolf Den Mother says, I've eaten some great chocolate. Yes, yes, you have. Uh, what was, wasn't that box of, box chock full of goodness? So jealous. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Wait, Trish, you're saying the, misca the, the cocktail was mezcal, old fashioned, and hot buttered rum. That sounds absolutely amazing. Jeez, and I like mezcal drinks too. You should have had a Papua New Guinea bar with it, and then it would have been a great smoky experience. That that's gonna be a, one of these tastings one of these days. I'm gonna do a mescal, and uh, and Papua New Guinea uh, tasting. I just have to find makers who have Papua New Guinea bars. <laughs> All right. Um, well, everybody, thank you so much for. Uh, Oh, there are two different cocktails. All right, all right, I got you. Well, thank you all for, for joining tonight and for sharing those remarks and your feedback. And I'm really glad that you had an amazing experience. Um, you know, uh, yeah, so so I'm gonna be like moving my camera down and holding it with one hand and then working on my computer because I'm, Instagram is most um, unflexible technology when it comes to uh, live streaming. Um, all right, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do this and I'm going to flip my screen. All right, so I guess this is gonna work like this, I guess. Well, it, for everybody who is like, what's going on? That's my, this is my room. I'll be moving to uh, my own apartment in Hoboken in, uh, on Saturday. So this is the last couple of days in my own one bedroom uh, here uh, in this shared apartment in Jersey City. All right, so here's the thing. Um, so I have a list here. This list is um, the 57 people. I took out your email addresses from this list because nobody wants to get spammed by random strangers. So this is all the list. I will I will slowly go through it so you can catch your name on the replay. Do do do. All right. And then the 913 leads, I don't have to scroll. There they are. All right. Um and so what I'm going to do is uh random.org, the the fun part about random.org is uh you could roll a virtual dice. And basically, I will roll a dice, and whatever number it is, uh, roll two dice, right? So zero, like I guess uh, uh, two to 12, um, whatever that number is, I'm going to come to this list randomizer, right? And I copied everybody's name from this list into this list, all the way here. So you have uh, Jessica to Trish, and then on this page, it's Brian to... Um, Mandy, and that's right on here. Ryan to Mandy. All right, 
So here we go. Drum roll. With one hand. Roll dice. So it's eight. So we're gonna randomize it eight times. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So this is for the 912 group. One. So you'll see it's one time again. That's two times. So you see right here, two. So we'll keep going. Three. Four. Five. I'll get up close. I guess a little bit more. Sorry, this is terrible view, but whatever. All right, seven. All right, and eight, and final time. Did I click it? No, I didn't click it. There we go. Winner is Michelle Stanley. Congratulations, Michelle Stanley. And I will find you here on this list and put winner. All right. I will reach out to you, Michelle Stanley. And then the 913 group. So for the eight times, so randomize. One, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven. Eighth and final time, good luck everybody. Brianna Hinoja, Brianna Hinoja, congratulations, you are the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, or no, winner, winner, chocolate dinner, because that's what we do around here. All right. All right, so that's, that's the winners. Congratulations to Michelle and to Brianna. Um, I will send out an email to everybody just so that everybody knows. I'll have a link to the video. And um, thank you so much for joining in. Um, thanks so much for joining all the sessions uh, and for attending and uh, for supporting Dallas Chocolate Festival and all the fun that, um, you know, for the 11 years that they're doing it. Hopefully next year we'll be in Dallas because I want to go back there. Um, yeah, so... Um, does anybody else have any questions or comments or anything else they want to share before I close this out? Last chance. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so, oh, I should also uh, plug my stuff one more time. All right, so uh, you have the... Uh, so I guess whoever's joined, whoever listens to us, um, you have 15% uh, off DCF 2020 on my website for any virtual t chocolate tastings. Um, and so um, so that is going to be, I think it's to the 19th, but uh, I may extend it to the end of the month um, because I think the app is open until the end of the month or something like that. It's a couple more weeks. So I'll, until the end of the month, I'll extend it for you guys. That's the surprise, right? So you guys could plan out uh, over the next couple of weeks, um, you know, over the course of the remainder of the year, you know, whatever virtual chocolate tastings you wanna join, um, you can join there, 15% off, DCF 2020. Um, uh, the giveaway is over. The winners have been announced. Um, if you want to grab some chocolate bars, uh, I have a, a bunch of chocolate bars on my website. Um, two from that we tasted during the the festival. The uh, two from uh, uh, what's his name? White Label Chocolate. Two from Letterpress and two from Mocha Origins. Um, they're great bars. I suggest highly that you pick them up. Um, and there's the flat rate shipping on that. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, shoot me a message. Oh, uh, have you ever gone to the festival in CR? CR, uh, Costa Rica. No, I have not. I've not gone to Costa Rica. Um, I have not 
gone to origin yet. Um, however, I am going to be uh, taking on the adventure to go with Mocha Origins to Uganda in 2022. Yeah, so uh, that's happening. Um, uh, and uh, Mocha Origins just announced it a couple of days ago. And I'm like, I cannot say no to this. It's a 10 day trip in uh, January to f in the mid to end January to February. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. Go to the page, mochaorigins.com. Go to their like origin trips link. Oh geez, it's, it's chock full of fun because it's gonna be the cacao farm visits, the, uh, the coffee farm visits, um, you're going to a safari, you're going to the Nile River, white water, like ra rafting on the river or whatever you want to call it. Like all of this crazy stuff and like like hanging out with elephants and stuff. I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun and uh, I'm due for an origin trip. So um, once that's all set up, I'll share some information and then um, uh, also we'll uh, definitely document the hell out of that that trip it'll be like practically like a documentary that i'll put together for it it'll be so awesome all right i think it's enough um i need to go eat some real food um since my diet was chocolate for the past two days all right guys it's been fun it's been real see you guys uh, very soon um yeah peace out